In today's day and age, lithium ion batteries are everywhere. They dominate the electric vehicle industry with their high power density, fast charging potential, high temperature performance, and long lifespan. Being secondary batteries, lithium ion cells can be recharged multiple times, making them ideal for use in smartphones, laptops, and EVs. But while there is just one lithium ion cell in your electronic device, there are more than thousands of lithium ion cells packed together in EVs to store a greater amount of energy. As EVs obviously require more power than electronic devices, the lithium ion batteries are connected in series or parallel to increase power. But what about these batteries makes them ideal for use in EVs? Well, if we find lithium on the periodic table, it is a group 1 element. And similar to other group 1 elements, lithium has just one electron in its outer shell. This makes it reactive as the electron can easily be knocked out of the atom. Combining lithium with other elements has given rise to six main lithium ion battery chemistries. Each of these chemistries vary in terms of their specific energy, specific power, safety, lifespan, performance, and cost. EV manufacturers use these parameters to choose the lithium ion chemistry that is best suited for their models. Out of all of the chemistries, there are two main types commonly used in the market. While some chemistries offer more range, others are safer and cheaper. To explain the chemistry behind the lithium ion battery, we will use the construction and working principle of a lithium cobalt oxide battery. This battery has an anode made of lithium and a cathode made of cobalt in its oxide state. The lithium in the anode is held in a stable state between the layers of carbon in the form of lithium carbide. The cobalt oxide in the cathode lacks one electron and makes it unstable. When the circuit is closed, the electron from lithium in the anode is pulled towards the cobalt oxide in the cathode to make it stable. In an EV, the external circuit is completed when the starter motor is connected across the battery. When the EV turns on, electrons from the lithium atoms will continue to accumulate at the cobalt electrode. As more electrons accumulate, they begin to resist the flow of electrons from the anode. This prevents the flow of electricity. At the anode, the positively charged lithium ions get knocked out of the carbon layers and flow across the electrolyte to the cathode. And once they reach there, they join with the electrons and the charge at the cathode balances out. So when all the electrons and lithium ions have migrated, the battery gets exhausted and the cell drains out. But, as the lithium ion battery pack is rechargeable, you can charge it at the nearest charging station. By plugging the charging cable into the charging port of your EV, the external current energizes the electrons on the cobalt electrode to direct them back to the anode. And here, the lithium ions also go back through the electrolyte to get trapped in the carbon layers. This replenishes the charge at the electrodes, and the battery is ready to power your vehicle again. And now you know why lithium-ion batteries are the perfect choice for EVs.